You know, I think I had I had so many visions of what a dream life would be growing up and I I don't think I have it anymore. I think it's kind of more of the bloom where you're planted now. I am um, yes. I know that's easy to say now because I have, you know, after many years of having a lot of kind of financial worries and all that, finally being married and feeling like I have a home and I have food and shelter and these are things that I don't have to be you know, terrified of losing anymore, which I still am, which is part of that internal mm-hmm. dialogue yeah, <laughs> question. Yeah. But um, I think, you know, in terms of that, when you have your um, basic needs met, um, I find that it's, you know, really up to me whether or not um, I can thrive wherever I am, as long as those, you know, those needs are met makes such a big difference for sure. It's such a, such a blessing to have that. Um, and yeah, I think now, gosh, it, a dream life is um, finding um, that peace, you know, internally. And um, once that's there, it's like, um, you know, life still is hard, but everything is doable. You know, you can right. thrive no matter what, and and you can have a lot taken away from you. And if if anything, I think part of finding that peace is having those things taken away from you. Mm-hmm. I think for me, getting right. to a point. Um, in my career where my anxiety was so bad that I felt like I never felt safe. I never felt at ease. I had all of that feeling of security taken away from me and that sense of I have control over my life. And I, even though it was so hard to see at the time, I needed that to happen because if I I needed it all taken away, because then you realize um, how to become the source of your own peace and joy. It's not about anything external. And once you have that, it's, it's, um, you have your dream life just like that. (laughs) I love that. That's so beautiful. I can, I can totally relate. It's like the older I get, the more I want less and all I care about is inner peace. And also that, yeah. And that experience of like, you have to lose everything or like you have to experience those lows to recognize like, oh, I'm still alive. I'm still here. So right. It, right? You true? know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, oh, I, maybe so I didn't really need those... it to feel safe. Because I understand right. like ev- what, because I think a lot of us grow up with some level of like scarcity or insecurity, like that maybe we didn't feel safe, right? As a child. So it's, I, I've also been like, like this is just a a mental health internal thing is like finding that sense of safety within myself that doesn't rely on anything external. Right. Right. And I think that that is one of the greatest challenges of life to overcome. And it's uh, an invisible challenge to a lot of people. You know, there's nothing, you don't have a trophy or anything to prove you know, that you, right. You can't tell on the outside. Yourself. Yeah. Right. You know, you can tell <laughs> yeah. people like, Oh my gosh, I've, I've achieved, I am my own safe space. And people will be like, okay, well you look the same. <laughs> exactly. you know, you can't, Everything there's on nothing the to prove. The yeah. But once you do achieve that, it's like you're invincible because you can lose it all and you're still okay. I think that's the most powerful thing you could have. Right. I, yeah. I just, yeah, that, that for me, and, and I say that being someone who's still learning and will yeah. continue to be learning their entire Absolutely. lives, you know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think finding that is, but you're right. I think those hard emotions, um, I think for me with overcoming, um, being someone who tended to be stressed, it was, um, become comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know, once you can do that, you know, you, you, you become so much stronger and everything, um, all these challenges, um, they, they help you grow and all those hard things have meaning instead of just being hard things, 